Hello guys, welcome back to Sunjara campaign. Sting, the sting of the scorpion, coming up. Let's go! Rumors describe Sumanguru as a cruel tyrant and a sorcerer in command of power for spirits. He was said to possess a magical balafon, which would grant him victory if he played it. He could not be injured except with the spur of a rooster. The whispers abounded. Regardless of the rumors, he was above all an ambitious conqueror from the west seeking to seize the lands of the old empire of Ghana for his own. To this end, he moved his seat of power to Gumbi Saleh, once the capital and heart of that ancient kingdom. Sunjata knew that contesting such a man would be difficult. The Soso had allied with other tribes in the north, the Jolof, the Diafanu, and others like them who made great gains from Soso control of the Saharan tribe. With such powerful allies and even more powerful armies, no one dared to rise up against them. Sunjata had one advantage. He was still remembered as the crippled prince of the Mandinkas, still thought to be weaker than he really was. As long as this was to be believed, the Soso would dismiss him as inconsequential and he could form his own alliances. To provide proof of his miraculous transformation from crippled boy to strong prince, he took up the Baobab branch from his youth and began a journey. From people to people and kingdom to kingdom, he traveled to rally support, to prove he was strong enough to retake his lands from Sumanguru. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, oh. Uh, uh. Well, am I not gonna... Is no one gonna speak? We face many okay. enemies here, but if we can bring our only relic to their towns, they will surely <laughs> submit to our rule. That accent. This is the card carrying the Baobab stick of our great commander. We should have units near it at all times, so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Okay, first off, let me turn down this a little bit. So does this, do I lose possession of this if I don't have units right next to it, is what I'm wondering. Uh, bring the car to the flagged pla plazas, plazas in Sang Sangaran, Labe and Ni Niger. Protecting your allies is not, an abs not absolutely necessary, but it is nevertheless a good idea to do so as they are valuable assets. You may not advance to Imperial Age. 150 in population this time though. Sunjata commands a forest camp in the south. The Sangaran, the strongest of his enemies, have a castle to the northwest. They have a lethal army of archers, squir skirmishers, scorpions, and monks. To the far north, are protected and protected by a river, and towers are the Labe, Laib, Labe, something. Once they reach the castle age, they are challenging opponent. They are a challenging opponent, training long swordsmen, knights, and battering rams. Niger is secluded in the mountains to the northeast. Their cavalry archers and mangonels are a deadly combination. Two towns, Wagado and Taban, support Sunjara. They are surrounded by enemies and will try to defend their lands, but will need help from Sunjara. Because I'm supposed to bring the cart to Red, Green and Niger, okay. So we don't have a hero. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Um, I'm not sure that I can take the risk. I mean, so I'm supposed to send it here. There are enemies though, so I wonder if I can like just run it in with units in front. Uh, just okay, there's one farm, we have one there. A little bit hard to actually see the farms. Oh now we have the mix of small trees and big trees. <laughs> oh well. Um so I guess we're just gonna build up as per usual. Probably go around and make Oh there we have goats there. I was gonna go and mill these this already because why not? Um, yeah, so I guess it will be pretty peaceful until we have an uh, army going. I'm actually just gonna use all these pikes to scout with the cart under our town center to keep it somewhat safe. So yellow and blue are my allies or support me rather. That is good to know. Okay, we're finding goats left and right. That is also good. Uh, go here. More goats. We have always been an ally of your family, and we 
you should honor that now as well. Thank you so much, Taban. Appreciate it, man. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh, no. Uh, oh, is this a blind path? Yeah, it seems that way. Actually, I want to scout it all the way, though. There might be something at the end. It seems like it's a mountain. That guy sounds weak. Sounds like he's not okay. There's just a relic up here. I assume? Yeah. Alright, well, we're still foolish anyway, so we'll take a while until we can think about anything like that. Okay, I'm not sure it was a good idea for me to scout this fast. It might trigger something. But let's hope our allies have uh, a little bit of power to stand quite for themselves. At least for a while. Okay, okay. Ah, yellow stealing my my goats. Okay, there's teal. So yeah, I guess we're just gonna try and get to Castle H and take it from there. Oh, a lot of gold. That is nice. Should scout here as well. Uh, there is an enemy. Okay. As long as they don't touch my trade, my relic cart. It's all good. Oh, it's gonna steal my goat now, though. No, don't take our goat. Okay. Oh, we have ostriches here. Oh, no, no. Okay. Well, whatever. The only one, though. Okay. So we won't mill that. Um. Yeah, okay. So where do we have stone? Probably use the minimap. There's stone up here. I'll probably put these guys on stone afterwards. Because I would like to get to Gubettos again. I don't know, I'm a big fan of Gubettos. Let's get a blacksmith. Oh no, I'm being attacked. Yeah, they have, they have some units though, so it should be fine. Only Niger is in Castlash and Red. So not only Niger, but whatever. Oh boy. It's a knight running around. Hope I didn't trigger like any attacks or anything on my allies either by like going to them. That would be a shame. Yeah, this save actually says Viper, listen. One sec. Okay, she's not saying it at all. There, listen. Viper. Viper. There you go. This is my sieve. Okay, so we're not gonna re those farms right away. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna bother going up there either. What? He has plus four? Did I see that right? Like on his. Oh no! Don't you dare, Red. That is my relic. Oh, no. Wait. Okay. I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, he has plus four attack. <gasps> Please build. Why are you going all the way over there to build? Oh, God. Okay, that's fine. I'm not ready to be attacked by these yet. Oh, no. Dude, they're attacking me as well, man. What are you expecting of me? Oh, I hope that guy is coming in peace. Really hope that guy is peaceful. Actually, let's kill him. I'm not peaceful. Oh, wait. Okay. I wasn't in control of my relic there for a while. There were actually more hearts down there than we first. What? Dude, I'm not ready for this. Did I trigger something by attacking early or something? I don't like this. Um. Help, allies! Give me your extra resources. Ah! Plus two, plus two. Maybe I can just debate them into the town center. Come here. Follow me. Follow me. Nice and slow. Nice and easy. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, that's better. I guess we'll get some camels there. Okay. 
As long as these guys are left being left in peace, I guess it's not too bad. Um, okay, they only have plus one though. So that's that should be okay as well. Get some camels out. So let's go full knights. It's probably gonna be better long term. So we gotta fend off some early pressure here. Potential pressure anyway. Just hitting our buildings anyway for the time being, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, once you have plus... Wait, uh, let's bring in the monk. Wait, did my ally delete them? Is he trying to convert my stable? Is he really going to convert my... St okay. I thought I would try to convert my stable here. Like a true badass. Okay. Where's this monk? I'd like him to waste his conversion so I can... Uh, Send my knights out. Okay, we have plus two. He only has plus one still, so my plus two should be very good. Wait, there's the monk. God, stop. Fine, let's go. Oh, I lost the veil. Wait, can we take him first, please? I assume my knights will do the do the business here, do the job. Okay, now we really need to get, I don't know, stone. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll go and help you guys, relax. Okay, actually, let's get a uh, monastery up. Again, so I can heal. I'm doing a little bit of a similar approach as last game. Just knights and then... Stop crying, man! I'm trying! Relax! Okay, so once we've cleaned this, I'll I'll run and help uh, Yellow at least. Ah, these noobs crying for help all the time. Look at this. Gonna have to carry this one. Okay, but okay, all good, all good, all good. Uh, I really would like a town center up. That's why we made this so I can take take stone. Now let's take that out so our allies don't die. Blue has towers though, so he's like, he's more okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so I want to town center on this gold, first and foremost. That would be nice. Stop chasing around a random scout, man. Okay, so we... Uh... Alright. It's all good, it's all good, all good. We got this under control. At least for the time being. Don't tell me that I'm gonna lose. No! <laughs> oh. Well, okay, whatever. I cannot help Blue though, but he seems to be handling himself fine. Ooh, sorry, I had to sneeze. Where am I with my knights, though? Did I lose, lose all of them? Uh, there's a lot. Oh! No. 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 No! Alright. Okay, okay. We need more stables. I need to make more units. This is... We're actually being pressured here. And here I am wasting my nights trying to save my ally when I'm dying myself. It shows you how great of a teammate I am. If anything. Uh, can we finish this, please? Okay, we can't take stone anymore either. Heal him, thank you. Okay, another stable. Uh, probably gonna make a market as well. Gotta make a market so I can actually spend my resources. Where are these guys going now? Please don't tell me that you're coming for me. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, we are fending off the pressure, but I really would like to. Is there any stone I can steal from my allies, maybe? 
Check the minimap. Oh, well, it's the only stone I see at the moment that is anywhere close. Yeah, it seems like we're fending off the pressure nicely, so... No problem. Now we gotta start spending our wood on farms. Put more of these on gold. I want to figure out my population cap as well. Okay, all good, all good. Did he take the relic? Yeah, they did. Okay, so I want to get onto that stone again. So I really want to get to uh, uh, Iberos. Yeah, he's fine. I guess keeping the allies, allies alive are, is a good idea, because they'll help keep them somewhat busy. Um, okay, okay. We have stabilized. We have stabilized. Fine. Fine, I shall help you. Come on. Oh, it's just man. I mean, they're not even attacking you. Are they coming for me? If they stop here and fight, I'm gonna be mad because they're running straight through it and my allies' base. Ay, ay, ay. It's a big bad boom. Those are frozen though. Can't complain. Uh, nope. Don't, our, don't our, hurt our villagers. Yes, we're still stuck to cast I should keep them that in mind. Because I'm kind of saving resources. Stocking resources, rather. And I don't really have to. Uh, who's in cast edge green? Okay, he's pretty far away, though. Um, I guess I'll try to get to red first. Uh, so teal is Ethiopians, green is Berbers. Again, I'm gonna figure out what population cap we're, we're uh, stuck with. Ah! Get the monks. Let's get the monks. 120 is still going. Okay, we can't afford a castle now. Let's make it here and hope that the petard won't blow it up. Okay, it's all good. Actually, let's make it here. Maybe we can take out those two towers at the same time. Okay, okay. Blue seems to be doing fine still. I wonder if my allies will ever go to like the next stage. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna get this castle up, most likely. I'm pretty sure we will. Go back. So many lo- Oh, no! Damn it. Um... One third, maybe even have 200 population here. I hear you, man! Do these guys not know that I'm busy? I'm kind of doing my own thing here. Okay, castle up. Success. Now I feel like we're going to be safe from any red attacks the rest of the game, pretty much. Let's leave the wounded knights here, and we'll go here to help Teal again, who is just attacking my villagers. And start making gebedos. Okay, okay. Now what? 150? Okay, maybe I have 200 population. I'm going to make a lot more wheels then. Gold might be a problem as the game goes on. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, let's clean up as well. 
I gotta have just enough units to keep my allies safe. Wonder what happens if I stonewall my allies, my ally here. Let's try that. Just so we don't have to listen to this. They're attacking our trade routes constantly. So if that's blocked off, that means that Teal also will have to come around here unless he actually takes out takes out the um, the wall naturally. Yeah, we do have a pretty significant force again. Go back. Very confusing that the the sound when a Gebedo dies is like the same sound as a villager. Are they here again? Are you kidding me? Um, okay. Oh, here comes green. Green is just ignoring blue though. He's not like attacking blue even. They're just going straight for me. <gasps> Hurry, let's get him. Okay, good stuff. How about we don't chase one scout constantly? Okay, if I click there now, where, where will we go? I think we are... We have secured yellow, pretty much. Okay, okay, so 150 is the pop cap, apparently. Yeah, okay. Now I think we can start working towards this. Let's go... Full knights and full gabettos. Need to bring some of these to make siege workshops. We'll take out the towers, because they'll be uh, annoying. Wait, where did they come from? Where the hell did these guys come from? Go yellow, you can do it with your scouts. Okay, this is a force a red should not be able to deal with. So from this point forward, we shall push into red and bring the freaking trade card over there. I'm gonna try and not destroy as much from red as I... Like, I'll destroy as little as possible, because I think maybe we get control of red's stuff when we beat him. Okay, so this is just... Oh, there's... Oh, oh God. Are you kidding me? Makes sense. Makes sense. We just send reinforcements there, so it should be okay. Yeah, get rid of the tower. Gibetos are really helpful to take out buildings very fast. I like that. Okay, send ramps. I, uh, I want to take out as little as possible. So where's the, the relic? There we go. What's happening here? Just gonna assume that the knights will be able to deal with that. Okay, I wonder if we can like... Okay, I'm gonna try to see if we can just do it like this. Where maybe they can make something... Wait, I wonder... I cannot lose the trade card, right? It can't be destroyed, is what I'm saying. Pretty sure that's the case. So, oh, it's open actually. Okay, let's just. Oh no, they stole a trade card. <laughs> Damn it. Um, hello? Why is it not turning into my. into my control? Now it should. There we go. Right, what's happening here? Okay, we cleaned this, but I really want to close that gap. Plug it. Okay, so this is where we go. With the trade cart, with the relic, not trade cart. So if if I'm lucky, all of this will become in my control, or they will just become my allies. Okay, or everything gets deleted. That that's okay as well, I guess. Oh, give me my trade cart back. That is fine. I'll take that as well. Just full, go full y'all here. No! Oh! <laughs> God! 
Going full top low here. Oh! What? Oh! Shit! If I knew that I would get this many resources from them getting defeated, I would have sacrificed them right away. What the hell, man? That is ridiculous. Redonk. Okay, screw them. <laughs> I didn't need my allies then. If I get res if I get those resources from them being destroyed. Ay ay ay. Okay, so guess we'll push to green right now. Because he is gonna be closer. Should probably let's get rid of some of these. I mean, now we have so many resources anyway, might as well just spend them. Okay, where's the trade cart? There we go. No, I keep calling it trade cart. It's a relic relic cart. Get rid of you. Okay, all good. Get rid of you. Oh, we have a lot of knights here as well. I want. I kind of want yellow to die as well now. <laughs> so I'm gonna give him those resources for that. So really unlimited resources now. Okay, so here. I wonder if we can do the same where we just kind of guide. Okay, let's try and. It's a little bit cheesy. It's a little bit cheesy. Not gonna lie, but I want to see if we can work like that. This that would be how they would speed run these campaigns in that case. We just bring it with your units to, with minimal effort to go straight for this. So I'm just gonna stick nearby the trade the whole way. Oh what's happening here? Okay that's fine. We're winning that anyway. So okay. Yeah I mean this should work right? You can just technically just cheese this mission. Yeah, I mean, I don't see why this shouldn't work. Unless we just get lose all our units now, but I don't think we will. Move! Let me have priority here. Oh god, we're losing everything. Yeah, I mean... This works. First I thought we were getting resources last time because we were killing green, but I mean red, but it was blue. Uh, blue. So, wait, did green get defeated or not? Seems like he's deleting stuff, but it's taken a while. I assume I can just move on. Oh, there we go. We can just move on. So I'm gonna delete this now. Come here. Come to uh, yellow instead. Oh, I didn't want to delete the outpost, but... Well, I guess it happens. Okay, now it should be pretty straightforward. They have no chance... Uh, this is risky. If the Magnus would have shot this, I would have lost the castle immediately. Like, I'm even considering making mangonels to just shoot down my allies' town center. Let's do that. I want to see if I get resources from him as well. I'm a great teammate, guys. Don't judge me. It's for the greater good. Justified. It's not like they're doing much any of anything except asking for help as they're getting attacked. Okay, come on. Come here. Uh, yeah. We'll just go straight for this. Oh, we're under. Now I should go down pretty fast. But I know this is what you all want to see. I know. So, like, we could just run the relic in here as well. But first, I want to quickly investigate this uh, whole ally situation. 
Oh, why is he garrisoning? It's, my, it's his ally. Okay, I'll, I will just let my units fight here and focus on this, because I'm pretty sure we... Yeah, we'll just dominate this anyway, on this side. So my... I wonder if they'll resign once their town center is down. That is what I'm wondering. Let's see. No. Might have to take out all their villagers as well. Don't see them remaking anywhere. Come on, Yellow, I want you to die. I mean, no offense, but... It's the best way for you to contribute. Maybe I take out this stable as well. That's the only other production building they have, as far as I can tell. They do have villagers still, of course, and... Scouts. But still. I just want to know if I get the resources again from my ally being defeated. Shoot! Okay, I guess I'd have to take out every villager. I don't think I'm going to do that, so let's just send the relic cart in then. As we finish the sting of the scorpion, or what's it? what it was called? Boom! Has reached Nigeria. Now they too will submit to Mali rule. Yes, they will. Wrecked. Sangaran, Labe, and Nigeria send word they shall submit to Sunjata, ruler of Mali. It seems the tide is turning in our favor. Yes, yeah, looking good, boy. I assume this will be ended any second then. There we go. You are victorious. We are victorious. Um, They actually had... Okay. So again, this is all just about surviving the like small waves they throw at you. And once you have a significant army, such as the Knight Gibero combo, that is when, the, when you can start to push out. But yeah, again... The amount of resources we got from Blue getting defeated, I really would have sacrificed him way faster. And Yellow as well, I would have just let him die, wall myself off from him. If that's what I'm gonna get from my allies dying. Maybe a little bit mean, but it's it's uh, for the greater good as I said. So yeah, let's hear what they, they say right now. Sangaran, Labe, Niger, Tabon, and Wagadu. One by one, the kingdoms of the south and east rallied to Sunjata. They were small, however, and Sumanguru had conquered nine of similar size already. As successful as Sunjata had been, his coalition could not hope to defeat the Soso just yet. Sunjata needed a better plan. Okay, all right. A better plan? Just just put me in charge. I'll, I'll solve it all for you. No problem. Uh, yes. Pause the screen if you want to have a closer look at any of these. I'll just toggle through them, and there we go. Dominating. Dominating! Alright, that was the Sting of the Scorpion Mission 2 of the Sunjata campaign. Next up will be Jeriba Gold. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.